Hi everyone. Today in this lesson, we are going to deal with the conservation of energy in an elastic spring. Okay. So in the last lesson, we have already discussed about what is the energy stored in the spring. The energy stored in the spring U is equal to half into K into X square. Okay. So this is a formula we have already discussed about that is the energy stored in an elastic spring and this is also called what elastic potential energy. So let's see the diagram here. This is a surface. A spring is connected at one end. It is fixed at one end and other end of the spring is connected to a mass which is kept on the surface. The surface we are considering is a frictionless surface. Now what we are discussing about the conservation of energy. As you already know conservation of energy, mechanical energy especially, kinetic energy plus potential energy remains constant. This is the one we are discussing about the conservation of energy. So first case we are discussing about at the extreme position. Okay. At the extreme position what is the total energy so this is the case you are now applying a force on the mass this is the mass here what will happen the the body will now move towards the right hand side if you release that force definitely it will now start oscillating the spring will now start the spring mass system will now start oscillating now you consider we are applying a force on this mass towards the right side Definitely this mass is attached with the spring will move towards the right. If you release that force, what may happen to this body? The body start oscillating. Okay. So just imagine the body is now reached at the extreme position. Just consider this is the extreme position. The body is reached here. So when the body is reached at the extreme position, what is the energy stored in that condition? The energy stored, we can say that potential energy. The energy stored in that spring mass system is what? The potential energy. And you can see when the object is reached at the extreme position, the kinetic energy is equal to zero. So what is the total energy by using conservation of energy principle? So we can write here, total energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. Correct? Here the kinetic energy is equal to zero, right? So total energy we can write it as zero plus. Now what is the potential energy? We can say here and when it is reached at the extreme position, potential energy will be maximum. Potential energy will be maximum. So we can write the formula here half into k into xm square. Here what is xm stand for? That is the maximum displacement. When it is reached at the extreme position, we can say the displacement is equal to xm. Maximum displacement from the origin. Correct. So we got now the potential energy. Got it. So what is the total energy is equal to half into 0 plus half into k into xm square. So what is the total energy at the extreme position which is equal to half into k into xm square. So this is the first equation we have derived here. The total energy in the spring mass system when it is reached at the extreme position. Now let's discuss about at any other point. Okay. Other than what the mean position and extreme position. So consider the body may be reached in between the mean position and extreme position somewhere here. Just imagine any other point here. Once again, the formula is same here. Total energy, conservation of energy principle, total energy is equal to what? Kinetic energy plus potential energy at that point. Okay. So we can write here total energy is equal to half into m into v square. V is the speed at that point. Plus, what is the potential energy? Half into k into x square. X is the displacement at that particular point, not the maximum, any other point. So half k x square. So what is the equation for kinetic energy? Half m v square is equal to 
टोटल एनर्जी माइनस हाफ के एक्स स्क्वायर सो वी कैन राइट हाफ एम वी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू नाउ व्हाट इज द टोटल एनर्जी टोटल एनर्जी वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड दैट इज हाफ इनटू के इनटू एक्स सब्सक्रिप्ट एम स्क्वायर दैट इज अ मैक्सिमम डिस्प्लेसमेंट एट एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन माइनस हाफ इनटू के एक्स स्क्वायर यू कैन सी ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड राइट हैंड साइड half will cancel half will cancel remaining one we can write here m v square is equal to k common you can take it outside k into x m square minus x square therefore what is the v square is equal to v square is equal to k by m into x m square minus x square so what is the velocity or what is the speed at any intermediate position speed v is equal to root of k divided by m into x m square minus x square so this is the relation we are using to calculate the speed of this mass at any point other than what the mean position so this is a mean position okay this is a mean position that is called origin we have discussed here mean position and this is the extreme position what is that extreme position okay so at any intermediate position now let's discuss about if so what is the total energy at the equilibrium position what is meant by equilibrium position the mean position okay or the origin what we have taken here this is the equilibrium position so what is the total energy at the equilibrium position so at equilibrium we are discussing here what at equilibrium at equilibrium what is the x value x is equal to 0 we can consider right at equilibrium x is equal to 0 so once again we are writing here total energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy by using conservation principle correct now what is the potential energy when the spring reaches the equilibrium position potential energy u is equal to zero when it is reaching at the mean position potential energy becomes zero because that is the equilibrium position of the spring mass system so we can write here total energy is equal to there will be only one energy will be the that is kinetic energy correct so we can write here total energy is equal to half into mv square half into mv square here we can write here v become maximum at a uh, mean position at a mean position v become maximum so what is the total energy total energy we have already written the half into k into x m square which is equal to half into m into v max square so we can calculate here when the mass is reached when the body is reached at the mean position what is the maximum speed we can see here see this one k by m into x m square is equal to v max square so what is the maximum velocity maximum velocity when the body is reached at the mean position is equal to what root of k by m into x m square so this is the relation to calculate what the maximum speed of the oscillating body when it is reached at the mean position now we we'll let's discuss about the variation of kinetic energy potential energy and total energy with the displacement okay so we are going to discuss about what a graph connecting what is that variation of kinetic energy potential energy and total energy with displacement what will happen to this energies when the displacement is changing let's see that one so the variation of kinetic energy potential energy and total energy with the displacement you can see the graph here so along the y axis it is the energy and along the x axis we are considering the displacement okay so the same case we can see here there's a three colors you can see the graph one is the green color which is a straight line parallel to x axis then other two are parabolic shape the blue color and the uh, red color using the conservation principle the total energy will be always constant so the green color represents what the total energy 
Now if you see which one is representing kinetic energy and which one represents the potential energy. When the object is reached at the extreme position, we have already discussed about potential energy will be maximum at the extreme position. So you can see here this is the two extreme position, maximum displacement. I can write here maximum displacement in either direction. Okay, XM represents what maximum displacement. So when the body is reached at the extreme position, potential energy will be maximum, right? So in this graph, you can see here, the blue color line represents the graph for what? Potential energy. When the body is reached at the mean position, see this one, this is origin, mean position. The potential energy is now, you can see here, that is equal to zero. At that time, what is the kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is maximum. So the red color represents what? The kinetic energy curve. A kinetic energy graph. So this is the variation of kinetic energy, potential energy and total energy with the displacement. So you can once again you can see here at the extreme position potential energy is maximum at the same time kinetic energy is minimum. When it is reached at the mean position you can see the potential energy is minimum where the kinetic energy is maximum. At any other point you can see here always the total energy remains constant by using conservation principle. I hope you understood this topic. Thank you.